Well, I've got seven of these bronze portholes and um, they're all, you know, a bit tarnished, a bit of verdigris on them. So we're going to attempt to clean them. And I've had a few in the comments, a few people have commented on ideas of how to clean bronze. Somebody suggested lemon juice, somebody else suggested ketchup. I've had a look online and, and I see three suggestions there. It's, it's lemon juice with baking soda. It's vinegar with salt and it's ketchup. So those are the three things we're gonna try. Um, I say I've got seven ports, so we'll, we'll do two with each of those mixes and one with whatever one works best. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. Let's have a go. A couple of tubs here. Ah, now then. This is the way, well this is baking powder, not baking soda, but baking powder's got baking soda in it. So best I could do. A couple of packs of that in there. powder and lemon juice, didn't we? Let's put another one in there. Baking powder and lemon juice is what we're doing. Yeah, so we've got three packs of that in there. Plenty of lemon juice, I suspect. So it's not freshly squeezed, but this is lemon juice. We did check the ingredients to see that there's actually lemon juice in it. And there is. So we've got to squirt that in there till we get a fine a paste of some sort apparently it should there you go see it bubbling a bit that's good that's the baking soda bubbling up a bit more the bubbling should stop in a while apparently okay let me paste So, yep, that's that one already. That's the vinegar and, no, that's the lemon juice and baking powder. This one is salt and vinegar. Salt and vinegar sounds like a good crisp flavor. So got some salt in there and some vinegar. Here we go. Same sort of thing. Give it a stir till we've got a nice little paste. Smells vinegary, unsurprisingly, <laughs> it does. Good, so just to avoid confusion, I should stand the vinegar bottle behind that one and the lemon bottle behind that one. And we've got the ketchup, German ketchup. So I don't know if any particular brand works better than another. This is good old tomato ketchup in best German. Good, so. Let's just cut that there for a minute. We're getting some more of those ports and we'll do two of each, as I said. Okay, well, oh, the baking powder one has gone rather firm and clumpy. So let's stick a bit more lemon juice in and see what happens. Quite a lot more, I suspect, because that's pretty firm and clumpy. that froth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's quite something that mix, isn't it? So good, so I think we'll leave that a couple of minutes. We'll do that one last just to see if it goes firm and clumpy again. We'll start with this port here. I think. Got some lovely rags. As you can tell, this wasn't one of mine. The kids were little ones. Good, good, good. So <clears throat> we're going to spread this on this one here. This one will be 
salt and vinegar flavour. Get that bucket out of the way so you can see a bit better. Get that stick out of there as well. Salt and vinegar flavour. See what happens. Yeah, little circular motions it says on the on the website, which is gonna be easier said than done on this, but <laughs> look at that, yeah. Have a quick Yeah, yeah that's the frothy one with the lemon juice and the Oh Okay. It smells good. Makes you want fish and chips for dinner. Okay. So we'll just do one with the vinegar mix for now. How is that? Okay, that's the lemon juice and baking powder is okay now. It's liquid or you know, pasty. Let's see what happens with this. Leave it alone. That's the lemon juice one. That cloth there. A little sweep here. Number three is going to get the ketchup. So there's number three. This is ketchup from the house. I shall try not to touch the nozzle onto anything. <laughs> Easiest one to apply. <laughs> there you go. Should taste good. <laughs> All right. Oh, smells nice. It smells like ketchup. Funnily enough. We'll give it half an hour. And we'll come back and rinse them off and see if anything's happened. Okay, so we've got our bucket of warm soapy water. It's been an hour and a half. So we said half an hour, but in the end we got distracted and it's one and a half hours since we coated them with the goo. Let's start with the, the lemon juice. Lemon juice and baking soda, wasn't it? Just dunk that in there, see what happens. It's certainly not clean, but it looks a bit brighter, I have to say. It look, does look brighter, doesn't it? It's cleaned it, hasn't it? Yeah. Just to, to a good extent, because that is distinctly cleaner. And we could work on that and... Oh, that's not bad. Good, lemon juice. Put that down there. Next one is the vinegar, vinegar and salt. Salt and vinegar. Well, we'll see. Also not clean, but um, I think it's probably cleaner than it was. So, signs of, well, it's, it's cleaner. There's no doubt it's cleaner. I guess we should wait for it to dry, really, before we judge it totally, but. So that's the, that was the salt and vinegar. Let's have a look at the ketchup. One thing that is very good is it makes your workshop smell like a fish and chip shop. Ah, I can see cleanliness there. Again, it needs more time, I'm pretty sure, but... Um, what do you think? Is it cleaner? I think it's cleaner. It's cleaner. I suppose what we should do as a control just take one of the ones that I haven't done anything to, dunk it in the soapy water, <laughs> and give it a scrub with a broad brush. <laughs> and oh. it's coming clean. <laughs> 
proved nothing. <laughs> I still prefer ketchup. I think the ketchup one's slightly better. End of science, I think we've just proven absolutely nothing. So this would be the morning after. As you saw, we, we spread ketchup on them all and, and left it overnight, so it's now about quarter to 11 is fairly late morning. Um, let's give them a wash and see what happens. As you can see, they've gone green. It looks like the sort of green that wash off easily. That's how coming pretty clean. It's, it's gone fairly red but from what I've read online is if you give that then a, a quick going over with a bit of steel wool it'll turn back to bronze colour. It does come pretty clean though. It's quite impressive really. Still isn't coming up particularly clean around the sort of returns there. And there we are. Washed them off, the seven of them. And I have to say, they've come up amazingly well. Just give them a polish with a bit of Never Dull or something. <laughs>